Room 2, Shield Cat, just a demo, found it on Steam, or a playtest even. I was uh, able to request on Steam, and maybe you'd be able to too as well. If it's on Steam, uh, let's see. Play as Lance the Otter as you go on a quest to save your friends and find neat collectibles along the way. Made by Cyan Sorcery. And it looked like an interesting game. Thought to give it a go. Let's give it a try. Also playing with a controller, because it's probably the best thing to do. You got the cute little uh, wolf thing also on the little uh, little window there. Yeah, start game. Oh, a lot of slots. Uh, see and change the game's difficulty. Oh, health mod, magic, pedal drops, fish, fi fi fish can be found in grass. Why are fish in the bushes? Show play time. Uh, maybe if you're doing speed runs. Yeah. Uh, useful for speed runs. Uh, I'll do that. Yeah, sure. Begin new quest. Yeah. I'm kind of curious. Wait, he's got achievements on the demo too? Lance. Lance, can you hear me? It's me, Parker. It's Penis Parker. Something terrible is happening in the kingdom. My fellow shield cats are wrecking havoc. Some evil force and their minions have seized the cat castle, and something is happening to me, but I'm not sure what. Lance, please help me. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a princess's voice. Or princes? Or friend? Parker. I should go to the village and check out Parker. I want to know who Parker is. Let's see. So we're a little red otter. Cute. We got different frames for different directions. You can go in eight directions, I do presume. Is it eight? I can't remember. But either way, good directions. Let's see. Oh, move tech. Tubular twister. Continue to spin attack enemies, propel yourself. Oh. Oh, passives. Map. Oh. And L A N C like Donkey Kong? Ooh, 3D shiny spinny collectibles. Oh, that looks really nostalgic. Oh, I want to collect those then. Coffee machine. 120, that is 120 so, p.m. Do I have time to read a book, but which one should I read? Uh, the Knights of the Shield Cats. The Shield Cats are the royal guard of the Cat Kingdom and work to protect the kingdom. The most Shield Cats have combat training and are ready to defend the kingdom at any time. Their main purpose is to work alongside the rest of the citizens of the kingdom to make it a better place. In fact, many shield cats are scientists, engineers, or your local train conductors. Why train conductors? It goes on uh, into more detail, but I've read it all before and it's not that interesting. Mm. Oh. I'm not really hungry right now. Mm. Let's go sign. Oh. The interface. So let's see, we can hold the square button to dash. Triangles for the, I don't know what circle's for. What is, what is circle for? It's throw. Uh, let's see, can I get out of here? How do I leave? Okay, there we go. Um, otherwise, oh, it's been attack. I think I'd wanna change a few things so that, that's a fast spin attack though. Give me that. Can I drown? I am an otter after all. If it, I swear to God, if he could if he could drown, I'd be really annoyed. Wait, what? Hmm. I do want to know how to get over here. Oh, wait. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, secret hole. That's like Legend of Zelda like too. Ooh, dark pit. Treasure. <gasps> treasure! 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 Ah. Mm. You found fish cookie five pack. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hey, cool. Behind the house? Oh, yeah, I already got behind the house. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh. Oh. So let's see, what items do we have? Fish cookie. Small, delicious cookie in the shape of a fish. Recover a small amount of health. Cool. So we can get rid of the f oh fish. Yeah, we are an otters. I mean, they are they are carnivores, if I do believe, not not omnivores. We can get rid of the flowers though, and the shrubbery for the fish. Lance Otterton. 
We should be able to go underneath the waterfall, though. Let, let me check that at least. Hmm. I guess it's like the sprint key when swimming. Hmm. Like, what am I gathering, though? Leaf? Is it currency? Ooh. Little spirit fox. Hello, Lance. My name is Willow the Fox. I can help you record your progress. I can also restore your health and magic. I like to see different places, so keep an eye out for me wherever your journey takes you. What would you like to do? Oh, I would like to pat you. Okay, developer, if you're watching this, you have to make it so saving the game, unless you really don't want to, you gotta pat the fox at the very least. If you don't have pet the dog, you gotta at least pet the fox to save the game. Give him like a little, little casual pat, maybe. That's just my suggestion. You don't have to listen, of course. But, why can't we pet the fox? Ooh, who's this thing? First I gotta... Hello. I can't believe this. The gate is locked. I have very important business to attend to, and this is wasting my time. I've heard there's an extra key hidden in the forest to the west, but you won't see me going in there. What are you, gazelle? You're also, like, dramatic. Just do what I do. Spin. Ooh. <gasps> Bunny! Oh, Bunny. Hi, I'm Rox. Oh, my. Bunny! Uh, thank you for testing out this build. The shield cat, I hope you like it. Uh, you'll see me around various parts of the build to answer questions you may have or explain issues that might be in this build. Keep an eye out for me. Oh yeah, it's called Shield Cat because it is the story about the Knights of the Shield Cats, protectors of the Cat Kingdom. Are, am I... I mean, why is it a lot of things about cats and shields and shield cats, but I'm an otter. I'm part of the shield cats, but I don't have to be a cat to be a part of the shield cats, is that it? Or the game takes place, that is why it's called Shield Cat, despite the fact that Lance isn't- Yeah, number why? If you didn't know, now you know. No, they faded, but bunny. Note to developer, I like bunnies. And kobolds. And dragons. And sometimes foxes, but it is just sometimes, only sometimes. Zoom! Nice little garden- ooh, fish. Yeah. Mm. I do like the- oh. oh, oh. I don't even know where to grab then 64 expansion package. Oh. That's what I get for exploring a nice little areas. Or just like. Mm. Uh, wait. Lignum. Lignum! Pronunciation wise, it sounds very similar to Ligma. Lignum? Ligna? Ligma? Lignum? No! Gah! I need to throw, right? Is that it? I need to throw something at that leaf. I, I want it. I want that. Get... Treasure, a shiny key, a dancing bird, and a lever. I see what they're trying to say. I can either connect to it... From to the left or from to the right, maybe? Let's check, hang on. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. Being absolutely sure. We'll check on the left side, see where it goes. We'll, we'll talk to the fox. Hey there, nice to meet you. Are you going into the forest? My name is Marcus, and while I might not look like it, I'm an adventurer. Where's your sword and shield and helmet? I heard there was dark magic in this forest lately, so I came to check it out. Here's an adventuring tip for you. You can do lots by pressing... Yeah. I've been doing it all game, all, not to worry. I've been finding all the fish. Ligma, li, ligma, ligma, ligma woods. We're leaving ligma woods. Oh, I guess we're hitting vases too. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Good. No secrets. All right, I'm gonna double check though before I move forward and explore more. I'm going to. Ooh, I got the- oh, the L letter! It looked like an expansion pack. It shows the, all the things I still get to collect. Or stat-wise, hang on. Or is it here? Total fish scales, pretty uh, pretty petals. Okay, the green things are petals, I guess. But... 
There are a total amount of fish scales you can get in the game. Definitely a collectathon. Oh, what did I find here? I hit the throw button and I went underwater, I think. Excellent. I learned something preemptively. I don't think you would have been told otherwise. So the throw button is, I guess, submerge, maybe? And then you can do that in underwater areas. Maybe then we can go... Hang on. Maybe you can go under the water at the home. Since I saw on the map... Wait, uh, zoom in. Since I saw on the map that there was this section of this, like, underneath my house, I was curious that there had to be something I could do, and I apparently found it. I'm not sure about the whole... Why did circle or the throw button let me go underwater? Is this a secret? We'll find out. What is this? Hmm. Let's spin it. Oh. Sculpture appreciator. Ooh, health upgrade. Nom 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 nom. Give me that fish. Okay. It's just a demo. We're getting uh, achievements. Kind of cool. But no, again, why... Hmm. Well, it's the only place on the map, so I mean, I found the secret, but nonetheless. Oh, there's an indicator on the top left next to his face. Oh, interesting. It's like an action command, too. Interesting. Okay. Hmm, fish. I don't think I can do it over here then, but I'll try just in case. Oh. I can! Oh. You've got a magic upgrade. Now you can equip more passive abilities as well as use more active abilities. Nice. Where am I on the map, then? I'm kind of curious. Um... I guess technically I'm in... Under... I guess under the map? Hmm. Well, just in case there is nothing else here. But I am happy the developer does realize that every waterfall should have an underwater waterfall cave. It, it's absolutely necessary. If you add a giant waterfall in your game and you don't add a waterfall cave on, behind it, then I become severely disappointed. Alright, so going back, ooh, we get to see all the other characters in this game. I'm curious what kind of drawings or depictions or characters they have in the game so let's see the path to the village is locked up tight so i'm just catching up on the morning news say you can you can spin pretty quick right i bet you could spin so fast you could get over that there gap who's this did you get locked out of the village too i don't know what they were thinking locking up uh without checking if people were outside there's this huge mushroom deep in the woods i wouldn't want to encounter it have you got a map i'll mark the location of the mushroom i would avoid it if i were you again i believe the extra key is around there so it may be unavoidable Hmm. Let's see then. Oh, we'll be, I guess, exploring this part of the demo and then going up here at the end to see where it leads. But being that we can fall down here, I want to know: does is falling down lead us to a cave, or does it lead to just wounding ourselves? Also, it does have falling animation. Good attention detail. Nope. Give me fish. Hmm. Sometimes the tubular twister alone isn't enough to get over gaps, however you can use that to sprint. So you can double tap in the same direction? Use the sprint to go further than before. Hmm. We'll see about that. Oh! Okay, wait. Jesus. A little nerve-wracking, but, eh, we, we got it. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. Nice. Oh, wait. Wait. My bad. I almost didn't get that, also. Oh. I was gonna think there's another secret down there. But then again, if we do look on the map, we should be okay. It doesn't imply when there's secrets, but, I mean, if there's an empty space on the map, you can guarantee there might be a secret, and then just look for it. Like, right here. I'm just really good at seeing these. Bard. Oh, big, shiny coin. Reminds me of Donkey Kong. 
I'm pretty sure like the developer probably has a lot of nostalgic, uh, like a nostalgic callbacks to like Donkey Kong and all the other games just like me. Which is why I like I, I can s I feel so much nostalgia even pl from playing this and the references I can feel from it. Yoink. Mm, crystal. Am I not strong enough? Oh no! I'm not strong enough. I don't think I have any other move text, but... Wait. Hmm. So where am I on the map? Huh. The secret's not even on the map. I'll just try to remember, so when I do get the uh, ability to break the crystal, then I can go back there. In addition to getting over gaps, you can use it to, to strike enemies. Yeah, I already did that, man. Fish. I don't even know what I'd be using the uh, pretty petals. I, it's clearly currency, but I'm curious where I can buy things and how much things will cost. Like, is the amount of money I have right now nice? Or is it just nothing? We'll find out. Maybe. If you find a store. Hey. Ooh, who is you? Oh, well, I killed it. It started running away from me. So my first reaction was to kill it, rather than uh, watch it gracefully. Are they enemies and they would take my health otherwise? Oh. There's a big rock I bet I could smash later. Fish. I want down there. I want down there! Hmm, there has to be a way. A oh, question mark? Ah, oh, come on! Don't do that to me. There's probably like some kind of crystal or thing in the way, right here, maybe. All right, I guess I'll just go down this way. Let's see. Have you gotten hurt? Keep an eye for fish. They can help recover health and magic. So let's see. Uh. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. I'm gonna see, though, if I do this. <laughs> I don't think there's anything to the left or right. Eh, easy enough. But what if I do this? Nah. Eh? Nah. Okay. Who dis? Um, is this another... That's not a... Is it a monkey? Monkey? Hey, Lance, do you own a map? I've heard you can press to look at it. That sounds too fancy. Oh, that's cool, okay. On my PlayStation button, it works as the share button. Excellent. At least the game tells me where I should relook later on. That's really nice. Because otherwise I don't think I can... Oh, never mind. Yoink. Man, I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. Because we got six coins, we got the L in this. You can get Lance... Oh, yeah, it tells you the percentage of completion there on the uh, top right. I want to try to get everything, but without going too overboard my usual time limits, but we'll see as I just continue exploring. Ooh, Otter the Otter? Hey Lance, nice to see you out here. There's a lot of water around here, you remember how to swim, right? Uh, well... Well, I'm curious just how much of this section of the game is underwater, maybe. But first... Oh. So they, were they like, evil spiritual blue squirrels or something? Nom nom. Fish. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Aha! There it is. I'm sure this is like maybe where they want me to maybe go. We'll find out. Um. Nah, maybe not. I wish I had a light, though. Like the, uh, the caves light up very briefly. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess we got everything in the cave. Very nice.
Hmm. Well, I think we've got everything. It was just the broken bridge, unfortunate. But whatever, we're an otter. Otters love swimming. Bird! I wonder if I'm supposed to attack that bird. Let me see. Bird? Hmm, maybe just a character for later. Bird! What is up with that bird? Oh, another save point. And tons of fish. What would you like to do? Save. Yeah. Thank you, little fox. I think I'm getting... Let's see, how close am I? Ah, oh, we're getting there eventually. I mean, who knows how many secrets. You'll know you're missing at least secrets in games like these because the, the game quite literally tells you if you're missing... Uh, missing anything or not. I know I'm missing things only by... Ah! Only by the, uh... The map either telling me with a question mark, or because some of the secret areas don't have question marks, but eh, I have good memory. And the game tells you the percentage, so then you can just keep searching until you absolutely find everything. So that's at least a good thing about, hmm. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Get out of here. Are they wearing, like, black ninja suits? Like, sort of like pink guy, but black? Ah. Ooh. Why is this such a yellow area? How do I... How do I even get across? Oh. I get to throw something at that lever way over there when I get the throwing ability, I guess. Hmm. Eh, 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 oh. Easy. All right, next area. I don't like you squirrels. All right, ah, uh, what's the left then? Oh, more of them. Combo, even. Mmm. Fish. In terms of fish, my only question is, it has total fish scales 121 out of 511. Whenever I... T I'm assuming it's the bouncy fish count as the fish scales. Um... But... I get... The fish scales from, like, just random fish from the shrubs. I'm kind of curious about that. But, eh, oh well. Ooh, e. wonder what happens when we get the whole, his whole word. We'll find out. Or whole name, rather. Mm, more money. What this? Some weird red thing here. Weird. Hmm. I get a weird feeling there could be a secret here. Hang on. I want to make doubly sure. Wait. Wait, what? That was weird. Eh, no weird secret there. I think there's just mushrooms in the uh, forest, though. Let's see. But where are the forest mushrooms? Supposedly a forest mushroom boss. We will get there. I think defeating him would give us the throw ability, maybe. Oh, shiny. Fish. Every time I get fish, yes, I do have to say fish as well. Fish. More fish. Mm. Oh, that's the mushroom boss. Boing. I mean, I mean, as long as I spam the spin button. Ah. 
power up. Wait, what? It's like being the ping pong ball, except you have full control. It, it's like, it's the most button mashing thing, but I mean, it's, it's not like it detracts from the game, I would argue. I'm just like s spin spamming and there's no cooldown to spin spamming. It effectively makes me invincible though. As fast as you can spin, as long as you keep spinning, you sort of have invincibility frames. Because if you, if the enemy doesn't have, it can't be damaged, all you do is bounce off them rather than take damage. And since there's no cooldown, I can just keep doing this. Oh. Look, almost looks like I punched him. Oh. Oh. oh, more health. I don't know if I need any more health. I, I don't even really take too much damage either, as is, but... Eh. Just have to figure out how to throw. And to figure out, I guess, if Lance is a pitcher or a catcher. <laughs> Assuming we're pitcher because we get to throw later on, but we'll leave those kind of jokes maybe for another time. What this? Gee. No fish! No! Give me that fish. See, it's like weird. Like, say, if we have fish there, we have 139, right? There's a total amount, but we don't know what it's used for. Boom, another fish. Fish. And now we have... No, oh, 139? No? Hmm. Or am I wrong? Wait. Wait, what? So there places I could just hit X on and it just turns into money? That's weird. I'm not sure how that works. But anyways, we got a big key. So we can put it in this thing. But do we want to? There's still a bunch of things we still need to do, as well as the fact if we were to go down here. Hmm. Eh, so I guess we could just do one thing at a time. Actually, wait, can I go underwater here? Have you tried that? Have I? I have. Eh, let's move on. I can't take too long in this. There we go. Uh, finally got the key in the door, but uh, let's see if this guy has anything more to say. Great, you finally opened the gate. Now I can get back to my important business. Uh huh, what's that? Oh. Bunny. Hmm. Uh, I guess I made it to a town. Also, who is that person? Also, a town. That means I can use currency. But nah. Thank you for checking out the playtest. If you enjoyed it, be sure to wishlist the game. Also, please keep a lookout for the Chapter 1 demo, which should come out sometime in mid-late 2022. Feel free to walk around the village, but not all NPCs are fully implemented yet. I should mention I put up blockades like the one here. If you bring me 120 fish scales, 4 cat coins, and all the last letters from the deep woods, though, I'll let you into this area here. The cat coins can be from anywhere, so be sure to check out the river challenge if you need an extra one. Oh, I guess I could maybe go do that, but... I, like, I got the L from this area, but the rest of the letters in the other. I'd need to find a way to break the rock, so... Um... I mean, the game's not really technically done, and we can get all that, says the developer. So I'll try to go for that. Might as well be a, a completionist while we can. Also, who's this? I've heard you can use the pause menu to equip abilities and use to swap... Oh, between throne. What does that even mean? Hmm. I mean, I, I don't exactly have any passive abilities, but... What's in here? Can I buy things? Oh. Active abilities and how to use them. Uh, eh. I don't think you need to be told how passive abilities work. I really, really wouldn't think so, even for beginners. Uh, yes. Out of bombs? Uh, okay. I still have plenty of available electricity shield used by the shield cats themselves. It's a replica. Um, bombs? Like I said, I don't have any bombs. However, I can still teach you how to, to use a bomb. You have to equip it by using... Uh -huh. You throw the bomb at a safe distance in front of you where it will explode. If you want to throw a bomb further, sprint before throwing. Be sure to detonate it far away. Uh, talk. 
Have you been outside of the village? It's a mess. I had to go through the woods because the gate was locked and I didn't have a key. Sorry, Lance, I heard they locked the gate to keep the dark magic at bay, but I forgot that you live just outside the village. Yeah, it wasn't just me either. Quite a few people were stuck outside the village. I had no idea I wasn't the only one who... Uh, I have no. I had no idea I wasn't the one who closed the gate. Well, it's okay now. I just hope none of the dark magic gets inside the magic... <laughs> into the village. Uh, yeah. Wave! Jesus Christ! Wait, what? Um... Draws in nearby collectibles equip more to increase the effect. Uh. Alright, with the shield purchase, let's see. This lovely shield is a replica of the one used by the shield cats. You can throw it. In trouble in the zig zigzag. Ah, oh, dark places, yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna be far like, farm. I, I don't need the magnet, but ability upgrade of the wave. Uh, I know how. Okay, stop. Uh, I, 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 I'm just gonna say I know how. It's... Thank you. Uh, items. Mmm, throwables. Shield. Lantern. One out of three. Nice! Alright. Now we should be able to throw the shield... Ah. Oh. Interesting. Alright. I will, I guess, look around town, I guess. A few things we gotta do and can't do or wish we could do, but... One of them is at least exploring, and then afterwards... Getting uh, all the items and seeing if I can g collect everything in uh, good time. I hope you didn't damage my bushes on the way in here. Uh, they're very busy. What exactly are you doing? Because it looks like you're just standing there. I'm thinking. About what? Thinking about how to throw you out of my house. Oh. Actually, I did cut down your bushes to get in here. You what? It's okay, I'm sure as soon as I go somewhere else uh, and then they come back, they'll have... Get out. Oh. Uh, search your house first, then. Do you just go in everyone's houses and look at their computer's cram? Mm. There's nothing in the fridge for you, so leave. Are you trying to get in my bed? How about you get out of my house instead? Yeah, I'm in. You shouldn't say- you shouldn't- you shouldn't- you shouldn't say no to people trying to crawl into your bed. What are you doing? Man, this guy's, uh, not looking for anything, I guess. Hoa. Oh, oh, who are you now? Hey, Lance, you made it through the forest. You notice all the fish scales in there. Yeah, I grabbed it. Oh, I'm think I'm guessing the fish scales are the blue things, not the fish themselves. I grabbed a few for Parker. The fish are for food, if I remember correctly. Uh, that's right, they're used for trains. And they give the train power to travel somehow. Parker explained it to me once, but I didn't really understand. Well, good luck with what you have to do. So it's like, sort of like Jigsaws and Banjo-Kazooie, but more... more quantity. I'll be rooting for you. So if I need them, to, like, for trains, I'm assuming trains are to get to new biomes, basically. Uh, can I jump down there, or do I need to use the shield? Oh, I need to get in. Wait. Oh, Fox Shop. Oh. Wait. Oh, uh, we can just keep going? And there's something off the map, even? Oh. I'll only maybe start showing only the most interesting things and skipping ahead and collecting things. I'll show you guys anything, like, really interesting. Because I'm sure there's a lot more levels to show, too. Ooh, wait, who's this person? A green fox? Wow, these cookies are great, though evidently I'm not the only one person who likes them. There was this cute little white fox who wanted a bite of mine. A little typo there. You sure do like the spin. I can't blame you, though. When I go on adventures, I spin a bunch, too. I thought it was really weird that you can find fish in the grass, but there's worlds out there where you can find it lit bombs in the grass, so... Fortunately, the bombs I found weren't lit. Hmm. Maybe when your adventure is over, we can meet up for a puzzle game or something. Do you like those? I do like crash pretty pebble, uh, pretty pedals. You slam pretty pedals together and, oops, I've got to go. Thank you for talking to me. I'm confused. But who's this? Maybe Patreon. I don't know. Speeding. Oh, the crocodile's in here. And who is this? Oh, hey, Lance. Oh man, did you see all the dark magic outside the village? Yeah, it's all over the place. Yeah, dude, it sucks. Like, I wanted to go to the cat castle for uh, some time, but, like, lol, you want to catch me going out there right now? Anyways, so are you here to, like, buy stuff? 
I wonder what creature they are. I'm kind of curious. Maybe cat? I don't know. This is a cafe. We don't buy stuff here. You should go talk to a fox. Fish geek. Hmm. Willow cookie. It's a neat cookie, I guess. People who get this say they've seen a white fox, but never seen that. Willow cookie. Eh, fine, I'll buy one. Is it just a portable fox and I wasted my money? That's a nice cookie. Whenever you run out of health, I'll come to your aid, but I'll take one of these as payment. Ah, it's a... self-resurrection. Little Mouse. I really think I like this cafe, but the surface is really bad. Nobody's coming to my table and I've been waiting for a while. How am I supposed to eat? Hmm? Oh, well, besides wasting my money, then, uh... Uh, do you think I should complain? Yes. You're right, why am I dealing with this? Excuse me. Yeah. Could I get some service over here? Is that what you're waiting for? You do know, like, this is a cafe, right? Not a steakhouse. Yes, I know it's a cafe. Yeah, so you gotta, like, come over here and order, lol? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Guess I gotta go to the counter to order, but I'm comfy. Maybe I'll go order later. My question is, why, do they, why are they only ones with chairs? Why is there no chair here or here? Maybe a little bit of an oversight? They're, they're only the only ones sitting in a chair, and there's no chairs anywhere else except for... He looks like he's sitting on the floor because he'd be too big for the chair, but... Eh, when the mouse is almost as big as a crocodile character. Eh. But, oh well. So let's see, we got a river challenge here. What is a river challenge? Besides just... Collecting these. Hmm... I have to go this way for the challenge. Oh, hey! Now we just need the NCE, and we're good. Let's step right up and try the river challenge. Three hundred pretty petals to play. Ah, uh, here are the rules. Uh, you get a small amount of time to swim up this river, and you'll get pretty petals depending on what you find. Make it to the end with all the stars, and it may give you something special. To slide side to side faster and to dive. Hmm. Don't have any obstacles. Interesting. Wait, 200 now? I thought it was 300. Eh, I'll have to test this out and see how it is, I guess. Ooh, it's 3D even. Oh. That's like. Oh. So I can go underwater too, I have to try to remember. And get all the stars. But how temporary is underwater? Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh shit. No, fuck. Made a mistake. I'll just go for the world record after. Oh, I missed the gold star. Oh, well. Again, I'll go for a perfect score after. Hmm, pedal bonus 630. I guess that's one way of getting, uh, the pedals back. Alright. Well, well, good job, son. Looks like you got a bonus of 630, so go ahead and give that to you. Uh, no. I want to see my time and see how it compares to the world record. It does cost me 300. If I'm gonna get after you read the rules, there's another typo. I guess I'll tell the developer if it isn't already known, because this is a January build, apparently. Um. But. Yeah, I don't know. It takes 300, but it says 200 only after you read the rules. I'll try to beat this in the fast time. Alright. Well, after, like, around six tries, six to eight tries, I got global fourth, which is fine enough for me. And at least one of my friends, or at least dis also Discord moderators, was able to get 121 impressively, but I got fourth place. Just under... Roxanne, Erica, and Sakujo? I'm assuming they're... 
Possibly the developers, though? Or other people, don't know. But I'm in the top four. I did as perfect as I could, unless there's like some method of hyper movement that I'm unaware about. The only difference between mine and the top is a full second, which is, I find hard to, it's hard to imagine, I mean, not even a full second, sorry, half a second. It's hard to imagine how I could save half a second off of my timing, except just less, like, it depends on how the game is programmed. If the more you do fast left and fast right, do you slow down by a little bit? And the more you do slow left, slow right, the less uh, speed you lose, maybe? I don't know. Either I got a coin from that, I'm gonna keep going, because I've been now recording for an hour and ten minutes, so I gotta get more stuff done. All right, let's see. What's over here is the bun and I think the train. Forgot to mention, right now you can't get all the collectibles in the stage for various reasons. However, when Ligman, Lig, Lignum Woods is finished, you'll be able to get four sets of collectibles, three stages plus this village. Please look forward to that. Autumn Grove. Oh, Fox. Looks like we can't go any further here then, so we'll need to do uh, just me re-patrolling the previous area. Or checking out people. Oh, never mind. But yeah, the next is, uh... Hmm... Yeah, it's going to the woods and collecting everything, with thanks uh, to us having the shield now. I don't remember this fox being here. Do you want to try my adventure? Hard mode? Wait, what is this? Here's the adventure works. I will hide crystals around the area and you'll have to find them before- it Aw, time runs out. There's something important, though. Only, only place crystals in this area. If you leave the area, you assume you gave up. I'll put up blockades. Uh, the game ends when you collect all the crystals, run out of time, or give up. I'll give you some pretty crystals depending on how many crystals you find. I'll give you something you need- Okay, I need a coin for this. Wait, what about hard mode? Wait. Mm-hmm. There's different rewards for normal and hard modes. Okay. I'll do this afterwards. Oh, here it is. I found the L. Amateur lexico lexicographer? Did I get a coin for that? Wait, wait. Oh, it got three. I just need... It said four total, right? I'm pretty sure... Collect all Lance letters, minigame... Hmm. I'm pretty sure that's all I needed to do, though. Well, you've got all the collectibles asked for. I'll go ahead and let you in. Have fun in there. I beat the other minigame, which is just like a... Collect all the diamonds and another speedrun kind of thing. And I got ninth place globally and and on friends. Eh, not too, not too shabby, but... Eh, let's find out what's in here. And then end it up. Hmm. Where's in this? I don't know about the, uh... I can't throw the shield far enough for that, so I have to see if the upgrade, uh, the, the 12,000 since I got the... I mean, it can go this way, too. Ooh, what is this? Shield? Shield throwing? A little, little predictable, but we'll leave that for later. What's in the house? I've been running out of time. I've been recording for an hour and 30 minutes. It's too much already. I want to play the mini... Oh my... More mini... Okay, I'm... This video is going to be too long. I want to play this mini game I'm working on. Uh, what are the rules? You throw letters into the mailboxes. The more you hit, the bigger your score. There's glowing mailboxes, and like you hit those, temporary unlimited letter toss. Sure, let's try it out. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's like it's paper. It's like paper boy, damn. Oh, they bounce off each other, too. Interesting. So, the more we miss, the more we just don't have envelopes. Wait, what stops us from just spamming them? I guess nothing really stops us from spamming? Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess I can do this after. I want to see if there's any rewards after. I right, hit boxes hit 94. What do we got for this one? <laughs> Global leaderboard 94. 
How did I get the top leaderboard for this one? Sakujo's been like first on uh, most of them. How the fuck did they not? How am I got the global leaderboard? Eh, whatever. No special prize, but I got not global on that one. I, I, I'm not, I'm not even gonna try again. I mean, I, it was like the second try and I got the global, so whatever. Let's go with that. And also, get that. What else is up here in this secret area? Ooh, pinballs. There's so many mini games. Need equipment for your journey? Come on, old fox. Ah, oh, that's what I need. Nice to see you again. Dark magic. Adventuring tip. Whenever you find something like a big key, it's only useful for the area you found it in. I have also noticed already fish scales, cat coins, unique. Hmm. Huh. I mean, it's cool, but yeah, I'm gonna go back and buy that expensive power up and see what it does. This is a weird power up. It just. It literally zigzags. I don't think that'd be good for the area where I don't have the, uh. That over there, the one where I had a, the broken bridge and I had to throw a shield across the entire uh, tile set. The shield doesn't go that far, anyways. It goes a little bit further, so if I do a sprinting, hovering over a cliff edge, and then throw the shield in the middle of the hill, I might, might just hit it. But that would require some fierce timing. I don't know. Let's go up here. Ooh. Fish scales. Abandoned mines. Not that I should be able to go in here, it's... The game's not done, right? Get out of here. Get out of here. What do you mean, abandoned mines? Get out of here! I don't still know how to destroy these. Not the shield gets rid of it. Hmm, whatever. Hmm. There's a way definitely through with here if I could break these rocks, but I don't think I can do it in this game demo. Can I actually go into mines? It's gotta be blocked off, right? Yeah. This cave is nearly done. Wait, please. What was that? Wait, no, no, no. I, I mostly skipped it because I. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, come on. 152, damn. The cave is nearly done. You still can't get all the collectibles, but you can get most of them. However, all enemies are... All enemies except for the boss. Please be careful. Oh, so the caves are now open. So if I wanted to play more, I actually could. Hmm. One well, more reason then that people want me to play the caves, I could. But then it'd be a multi-part series, and I've already been playing an hour and a half now. I'm gonna check out the other direction. Ah, I got the M. I hadn't even gone in this library over here that was on top of the map. I don't even know why, but we'll check it out. Who's this doggo? I like spending a lot of time here. There's so many books! It's building interest to me. We're a small village, so it's a library visitor center. Uh, they also town meetings. Uh -huh. Do you have popcorn with you? What is that, a brush? Who's this? I just love to drink tea. Don't you love to drink tea? The bag is a bit crunchy. Huh? Orange Bunny! She's a good friend of mine. You should visit her sometime. She lives by the beach under a tree. As long as the trains aren't running, though. Weird. I mean, the trains are running since it's a demo, but... Oh, man, did you see that prosecutor over there? He looks so confident. I don't feel like I've got my evidence in order at all. Ah, uh, I suppose Phoenix Wright reference. This is gonna be a disaster. Objection! Sorry, sorry, I'm just practicing. Did you see that defense attorney over there? Just the sight of it. he had, just the sight of me has him intimidated. It's really funny, honestly. When you're a lawyer, you gotta have keen eyes. As a raven, I have the keenest eyesight around. Speaking of which, have you noticed glimmers of light? These do something interesting, so I look for them often. Yeah. Then it's like you get a little patch of petals. Other than that, I think that's everything. Besides what's in the mine, which I can get in another episode. Alright, other than that, I think I'm gonna leave it here. I think the game would have saved itself. Yeah, save and quit. I got a good amount of stuff. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Then we can go into mines if people do want to see more content for Shield Cat, even though it's still just a demo, not the full game. But I hope you enjoyed Shield Cat. Uh, an interesting, like, collectathon kind of game, especially with cute little furry characters. Might be just the thing for certain, uh, certain players out there, but. 
If you're interested, you can find it in this store down in the description down below. There's probably the Steam store. Probably Steam store link. Is it? Where did I get it? Yeah! Shield, uh, Shield Cat uh, on the Steam store page. Release date when Lance spins clockwise is the release date. But you can uh, play the uh, click to uh, request to be in the playlist and uh, well, you can upload footage if you want. Well, I don't know. Play the game. Get higher scores than me if you wish, but otherwise I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, big and subscriber, and notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Mm.